Good morning. Welcome to my yellow thinking chair. Not thinking chair. It's my meditation chair. It's everything chair, really. Courtney breastfed in this chair. We both sit do sit here and do work in this chair. It's a very comfortable chair. It's from IKEA. So it came in 4,000 pieces and we had to put it together. But it's comfy now. It's together. It's very useful. I've been doing a bit of research the last couple of weeks. Uh, the company I work with, Psychology Charity, and I'm doing them up a new business and business development plan, basically, uh, to you know in improve their marketing and sales function. Because unfortunately, due to mental health issues in Australia, they're growing exponentially in the amount of services that they have to pro provide for psychology and counselling services, which is obviously really, really good for business, but really, really bad for uh, an indication of what the state of mental health is like in Australia, which is absolutely no surprise. After the pandemic and going through lockdowns, like, you know, including ourselves and people we know personally that go through really hard times when you're stuck inside for months at a time, it's just quite taxing on your mental and emotional state. Um, you know, the amount of people you hear about that split up or divorced through that period, including like our neighbor and other, other people that obviously couldn't handle spending large amounts of time with themselves and their families indoors. Uh, it's taken a big, uh, a big, big toll on society. So, um, and the reason why that's relevant, why I'm talking about uh, doing up this business plan and this development plan and how we, sort of handling the growth in that industry at the moment is I was doing a bit of research and the research just touched on a few things that are really, really important to me um, and why I kind of, um, I guess, want to explain why I make these videos because, um, you know, mental and emotional stress obviously takes a big toll on people physically physically as well as emotionally and one of the things i found when i was sort of you know doing some market research and competitive research and just looking at some statistics and figures within mental health within australia um you know one of the big things was the physical physical connection we have to our emotional thoughts, which is, it's no surprise, it's something that's not a surprise to me, because like I've said in the past, I've been ill in the past, and I know for a fact that it was because of my mental and emotional state. And one of the lines that stood out to me in, in one of the first kind of statistics I read about mental health in Australia is that um, emotional stress is connected to physical illness. And that's something that's like proven in studies in psychology uh, to people basically talking themselves into illness or talking themselves into into sickness, um, you know, through stress and anxiety. And even, you know, people directly stressing about their own health and then manifesting that into a physical form, um, you know. And it's, it's really interesting play on words when you think about it, emotional stress uh, can turn into physical dis-ease. And if you put the words dis-ease together, it says disease. So your mental and emotional state has so much to do with your physical state. And getting that right is something that's so important and so paramount to keeping healthy overall physically. Because if you think about if you're a person that starts to stress out about your health or think that you've got issues with your health, then you're gonna start to manifest that in, in into a reality. And it's something that I used to a little bit, but I know a lot of people do do as well. Um, there's some people that don't, uh, but the importance of it is that whether it's you, you know, if you can get your mindset in check with knowing that your body's resilient, because this all comes back to resilience. It's, it's emotional resilience, it's physical resilience. And I had a massive like light bulb moment through my treatment process um, because you know, I went down paths that I won't go into too much detail where, you know, given a low percent, low percentage chance to make it through some of the situations that I was in. And what I began to realize was any time that I had some type of issue that put my body in physical stress, it was because I was thinking about the, you know, the ramifications or, or the results of 
certain type of things that were getting, you know, I had to take, whether it was medications or whether it was like chemotherapy itself or whether it was like another health, health issue I had, like I had blood clots and all these things which would lead to stroke and then I'd start to stress out and manifest those type of things. Because you get told those things, it's really hard not to think about whether that's going to happen to you or not. So it's really hard to try and get through that, like mentally, when you've been told that this is a possibility and you can start to manifest those things. But the resilient side of it is, I went through all these things and because I got my mindset in check in that situation, and this doesn't just relate to illness, this relates to this business, it relates to nutrition, because all these things then add up to your overall health. Like if you're, if you're becoming financially free, it takes less pressure off you and your family. That's one less thing that you can get out of your head that uh, causes emotional resistance for what you're thinking about. Uh, if your nutrition's on point, your fitness is on point, you know you're ticking off all these things. Not are they only making you physically well, but they're starting to improve your emotional health. And that emotional health then starts to take stress off thinking about those things, and it further removes you away from being in a in a unhealthy physical setting. So the resilience aspect that was my light bulb moment was I'm going through all these things, and even to the point where I wasn't really conscious with my physical body because I was so unwell and it was to a point where it was touch and go and survival. And then I would come through those moments. After I came through those moments, in my head I was like, this this vessel that I'm in, my body, it's, it's, it's resilient for itself. It's so physically resilient. It does not want to die. There's just an automatic mechanism going on between your brain and your nervous system and the rest of your body, between your heart, your lungs, everything that's vital to keep your blood flow, keep you conscious, keep you going, keep you moving, keeping you alive. It's an automatic system and it's resilient. So if you're ever the type of person that thinks that you're, you know, you're stressing out about your health and you, your family's got heart issues, for example, or your family's got stroke issues or they've had cancer in the past or whatever it may be. And it may, it may even just be related to mental illness, for example, if there's a history of that in your family. You've got to know that your body's just going to keep functioning how it needs to function because it's a biological mechanism that has evolved over hundreds of thousands of years and it's just going to keep on ticking. The heart's just going to keep on ticking. The lungs are just going to keep on filling. The brain's going to keep controlling the nervous system. And unless something really, really drastic and unfortunate happens, which is really rare when you think about it, there's nothing to worry about. So a big thing for me, like I said, in making these videos is like, I had to go through these hard moments to reset my mindset and my thinking around my physical health, which changed my emotional health. And in changing my emotional health, my physical health benefited from it. And yes, like I had to go through some, some dramas and some health situations, which some of which I'm still dealing with now, but the fact that I've got my routine and my process and I'm knowing and a sense of knowing of how resilient my body is, that's one aspect I've removed from my stress and worry in my life. I'm like, it's just gonna go as it goes and it's gonna do as it does. And if I get sick, I get sick. I'm gonna eventually get over it, even if it takes me a little bit longer than anybody else. But because I've sorted out that aspect of knowing how physically resilient a human being is and how physically resilient my body is, the emotional stress is completely removed from it. But if you do it the other way around and you sort out your emotional and mental stress you and, and have a sense of knowing that your body's gonna be completely fine and you really, really focus on your mindset and your strategies and your routines to keep your mindset in the right place, your body's just gonna do what it does and there's nothing you need to worry about. Obviously, there's unfortunate situations where people have genetic things and genetic illnesses but the way that medicine is today, and you know, this is always a topic between conventional medicine and alternative medicine, and I was much that way. I was very much an alternative person, hated taking drugs and antibiotics and seeing doctors and all that sort of things. But after I'm figuring out the resilience of my body and I'm figuring out, figuring out that science exists because things are proven and they're studied and, and medicine's improved and lifespans improved, even though that some people have health issues and there's, there is problems with overprescribing, there is problems with all that sort of stuff. But still, these are only things that happen in short periods of time. Like example for antibiotics, I used to stress out about if I got some type of thing where I had to take antibiotics. 
and I would stress out about that. I was like, this is ruining my gut health, it's ruining this, it's ruining that. But after what I went through and antibiotics kept me alive in hospital and all these di different situations, I removed that aspect of stressing out about those type of things. I'm like, this is something that's temporarily fixing a problem that I have which my um, body can't fix just because of the evolution of viruses and bacteria themselves and, and whatever it is. Um, and that's just, that's just what it is. And after I'm finished that treatment, I'll get back to being who I am and I'm in a better mindset, I'm in a better headspace, I feel healthier, all those types of things. And I obviously still pursue, pursue the alternative side of it and eat as naturally and organically as possible, but removing the stress from that situation, knowing that my body is just resilient as it is and my emotional stress does not have to be a load that my body takes. So getting back to what I originally said, doing that research of how connected physical disease is to mental and emotional stress. And and that doesn't even have to be like related consciously to you consciously thinking about your, your, your physical health all the time. Like I've got friends that I know have not thought about their physical health because they're completely fit and they're completely healthy, but because they didn't focus on stresses and things in their life that were, you know, maybe not even conscious to their, con like to their first level of consciousness, deep down stress of things they're pushing away and doing that type of thing, it manifests itself into a physical stress. And then that's shocking when it arises because you've got to go back and break down all these things. And like I said, the only reason I'm making these short videos is just, it's stuff that I've learned along the way through having to go through crappy situations where I just want to relay that information because I don't want to get to a point where other people are getting into to a state of uh, physical disease or physical distress in their body because I just want people to know that, you know, you can go through a lot. I've also got friends that have been through accidents and things like that, spent a lot of time in hospital and ICU and even other people that have had cancer and have had nearly half their organs cut out of their body. And yes, they've got to adapt their lifestyle to, to adapt to those terrible things that have happened to them, but their heart's still ticking and they're happy and they're grateful that they're here and they're alive. And the same thing, the same thing relates to business. People go bankrupt and it's the best thing that's happened to them because they've stripped so much stress from their life, they've restarted, they've got back to the things that they know they're passionate about and they know that they wanna do. Um, or the same thing where people get injured or they have a physical issue where they couldn't exercise or they couldn't move and they decide to get back on the bandwagon and exercise again and get themselves healthy again and turn over this completely new leaf of life. So it's just about one of those things about, you know, getting your mindset in check so that you don't have to go through those hard things. Everybody goes through hard things, but if you can avoid going through those hard things, like any type of physical disease, um, just because of your emotional mindset, I'd like to try and prevent that within people because that's something that, like I said, I'm creating a whole business plan for a charity that offers way too many psychological services for this thing. And mental health's had like over a 450% increase in the last 24 months. So if you need help ever, just reach out to somebody. It can be me, can be someone you know, just talk to people. Everybody's going through something. And if you need help, please do so. Call Lifeline if you need to, whatever it is. But please just reach out. Even if it's just a message, make sure someone's okay, make sure you're okay, and take the time to get your mindset and check and feel better. That's my rant for today in my thinking and meditation chair. Um, if you've got any feedback for me, please let me know. Have a good day.